Introduction You see a large variety of animals and plants in your surroundings. They all are of various shapes and sizes and also look different to each other. But one thing is common in all of them. They all are made up of a small unit of life, that is, cell. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you'll be able to Know about the cell and its discovery Define unicellular and multicellular organisms Describe the structure of cell Explain the structure and functions of cell membrane, cell wall, cytoplasm, nucleus, vacuole and plastids Dif Introduction of Cell A cell is the basic structural and functional unit of life Experiment Take a small piece of an onion and peel off the skin with the help of a pair of forceps. Put this layer immediately in a watch glass containing water. Take a glass slide, put a drop of water on it and transfer a small piece of the peel from the watch glass to the slide. Put a drop of iodine solution on this piece followed by a cover slip with the help of a mounting needle. Put this slide under low power followed by high powers of a compound microscope. All the discovery of cell. Who discovered cell first? The cells were first discovered by Robert Hooke in 1665. He examined the thin slice types of organisms. Unicellular organisms, multicellular organisms. In unicellular organisms, a single cell may constitute a whole organism. Example, Amoeba, Chlamydomonas, Paramecium and Bacteria. In multicellular organism, many cells group together in a single body and assume different functions in it to form various body parts. Example, some fungi, plants and animals. Each living cell has the capacity to perform certain basic functions that are characteristic of all living forms that is, cells of heart to pump blood, cells of stomach to digest food, etc. Each cell contains certain specific components within it, known as cell organelles. Each kind of cell organelle performs a shape and size of cells. Shape of cells Different organisms have different shapes. It is due to changes in the shape of cells. Amoeba keeps on changing its shape due to presence of pseudopodia. Generally, cells are round, spherical or elongated. Some cells are long and pointed at both ends. Size of cells The size of cells in living organisms may be as small as a millionth of a meter, micrometer or micron or may be as large as a few centimeters. The smallest cell is 0.1 to 0.5 micrometer in bacteria. The largest cell measuring 170 mm into 130 mm is the egg of an ostrich. Plasma membrane and its functions. What is a cell made up of? While studying the cell under a microscope, we will find three common features in almost every cell. Plasma membrane, nucleus and cytoplasm which are responsible for all activities inside the cell and interactions of the cell with its environment. Plasma membrane. This is the outermost covering of the cell that separates the contents of the cell from its external environment. The plasma functions of plasma membrane. Unicellular freshwater organisms and most plant cells tend to gain water through osmosis. Absorption of water by plant roots is also an example of osmosis. Thus, diffusion is important in exchange of gases and water in the life of a cell. Cell wall 
and its functions. Cell wall Plant cells have another rigid outer covering called the cell wall that lies outside the plasma membrane. The plant cell wall is mainly composed of cellulose. Cellulose is a complex substance and provides structural strength to plants. Functions of cell wall Cell wall provides